at the Magic Kingdom. It is just within arm's reach. We just can't go in. Tia's shirt says it all. Because we want to be where the Dole Whips are. When you're so close, yet so far away. They used to have the boats where you could go from the Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary, but right now that is not currently running. We were directed to take the walking path, so we're going to walk over to the Contemporary. We're getting around to the backside of Space Mountain. Look, you can see where the new Tron light cycle coaster is. And they painted it go away blue. So we just walked into Contemporary and it is not what you're going to remember. Everything is closed off, but this teeny little pathway, the Joffrey's counters right there. And so we're walking behind the elevators and the escalators. They have scrims up behind whatever this is. Can we still get to the escalators? Oh, okay. Escalators right here. If you do want the way to breakfast, you can get some breakfast at the California Grill. Well, that's nice. So you would actually get to be able to go see the California Grill. So we're down in the bowels of the convention center at the Contemporary. They actually have some of the doors open to the Fantasia Ballroom, which is where they're going to be doing the Destination D23 conference in mm. November. I'm poking my head into the Fantasia Ballroom because it's open. We're in this little solarium at the end of the hall here down at the convention center. I don't know if you can hear it, but I feel like this is the music from Give Me a Break, da 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 da. Like the music from an 80s sitcom. You know, like I feel like I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati. I think this is one of my favorite rooms here though. I can just sit down here, but right now this music is so freaking loud that I think we're gonna make our way back to the main area and go check out the DVC side of the Contemporary. Oh, and the girls are here eating the gummies. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the Contemporary looking through the store here and we found something that I swear we didn't see at any of the other places that they had the 50th. It's an ornament, and this is a heavy-duty little ornament. It's a $20, and of course then they have all the shirts and the calendars and pretty much everything else for the 50th. I'm sure the pins are in here somewhere. I like that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, they found the lounge flies. Oh snap! We found that one on Shop Disney and they were doing a huge discount and we got it for like 30 bucks. But that's the only time I've ever seen it because it was on clearance. Good. Any interest in getting this one? Here it is. It is $75. I like that they have the uh, D23 collector set right here in a case so you can see everything that comes in the collector set. They got their whole Halloween collection here. Land of land flies. They have the Halloween pins up here for this year. I don't know how I feel about some of these. The, I feel like the ones in the past where it was more like Mickey was a vampire and I she was a witch. They're boring. They're boring this year. Like I just. Oh, they're so cute. I think Chip and Dale are always my favorite. I like those, and they're not really that expensive either. Like $16 for one that size and the, all the detail in these. Those are, it's amazing. They very briefly sold them on Shop Disney, but only some of them. I think the last time we came down here, they had the whole collection down here. Oh, look at that Peter Pan. Oh, they got a ripping up. Oh, neat. Oh, there's the new Hocus Pocus mystery ones. I feel like I can't get any of those, even though I like some of them. Because if I get one of them, I'm going to have to get all of them. Oh, I know. And then that and costs a lot of money. Thing. Yeah. I know that this is just one of those little starter pin sets, but I really like that it's got the various lands on it, and it's $28. I mentioned this one time before when we were having breakfast over at Chef Mickey's, but the music piping out of the uh, stereo up here. If you've ever been on hold with Shop Disney or any of the Disney phone services, this is the music that loops while you're sitting on hold. 
Right now we're standing out on the, I guess, balcony that's at the end of the contemporary where you can actually, there's a seating area right here where they have set up where you can watch the fireworks. Not sure if they pump out the music, but it is available if you want it. But we're heading over there right now. Let's go up this walkway. We're gonna go somewhere where we have never been before. The DVC side of the contemporary. This is Bay Lake Tower that we're gonna be heading over to. Ready? So if you look off into the distance over here, that's where River Country used to be. Oh. Right there. They kind of cleared out the land right there. For a while, they had a camera. It's like a little time-lapse uh, camera. Yeah. When we were riding across on the boat, the guy was like, if you look off to your left, you can see a camera. That is our time-lapse camera for the oh. resort. Everybody smile. Oh. We might get one frame. We're at the little courtyard in the back of the Bay Light Tower. This is the DVC side. And hey, look at this. It's almost like the commemorative nameplates. Maybe these are like the first people that bought the rooms for the DVC. anyone ever wanted to know where the five-legged goat is in the contemporary you got to go up the stairs to get onto the monorail to actually find the five-legged goat and it is right there we are planning to head back to the TTC now and we're gonna pick up Megan's car and we're gonna head over to the Caribbean Beach because we have a dinner reservation at 645 at Sebastian's Bistro. Megan is going to be joining us for dinner so we're gonna head over there until our reservation at 645. Look you can open the windows in the monorail and you can also close them if you need some airflow. We never ever knew that. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas.